Okay, now I'm gonna break the solo down for you into 10 separate licks. Uh, we're using E flat tuning, so we're actually in the key of E flat, but since you're in E flat tuning, everything looks like you know, you're playing in the key of E. So we'll go ahead and start out with lick one. Sounds like this. Okay, so uh, that's what we're doing with lick number one. And uh, we're gonna just rest for the first uh, bar here, uh, four, four ballad style blues. And then on the uh, second bar, we're gonna wait and come in on the, right after the first beat, come in on the upbeat, the one and. So what we're gonna do is slide from the four to the sixth fret here on the G string. Let that hang. And then on the uh, fourth beat, we're going to play this little lick here. Hammer on and pull off, four, six, four and slide back to the second fret and then to the first fret. So that's the first little phrase that we're working with. And, and in my mind, uh, what I'm thinking is this is our BB King position uh, in E. So I'm sliding into that sixth fret right here. It's a major style sound for this little portion. So sliding into the sixth fret, then I got that fourth fret straight from that BB King position. Now we got that little phrase. And what I like to do and how I like to think about it is I like to learn just the basic straight up major scale. You need to know that everywhere. So this little pattern right here. So I, I use that pattern, not really a whole lot for uh, just playing licks and stuff, but I'm familiar with it all across the fretboard. Uh, you just have to know your root and then know that pattern, two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four. So I combine that with like uh, the major pentatonic scale and then the BB King thing right here. And you know, there's numerous ways to string these things together. That's just one thing uh, that I do to combine that just a straight up major scale uh, with the BB King position. and then are just straight up major pentatonic scales. And there's all kind of other ways I think about major scale, and you can learn more about that in uh, Blues Guitar Method 1. So anyway, that's the thought process for getting uh, where that lick is coming from, uh, how I think about it. Uh, the only other thing you want to think about is, you know, your intervals. What I'm, I'm landing on my major third here, and then I'm landing first on that second fret, uh, which is a fourth interval, and it's, gonna, it's a good sound to end on to just give it a little bit more tension. And then you resolve to that first fret, our major third chord tone of our E chord. Okay, so the next phrase we have this. And so that's putting us right back into our BB uh, King position all that straight up from BB King thing. And then I have this uh, hammer on slide pull off. I'm actually adding uh, the uh, minor third here, which is our eighth fret on the B string. Sounds great. You see a little uh, blues sound to our ballad piece here. And I'm sliding in from seven to nine. And doing that little phrase, you hear uh, Hendrix doing and stuff like that waterfall tune. This kind of ballad piece has a little, few elements taken from his waterfall piece off Are You Experienced? So it's a common thing you hear him do with major style licks. So we're just sliding in from seven to nine. That's our major third. Crucial to know your major third all over the place. Uh, talk about this in Blues Guitar Method 1 and 2. And then we're sliding this little uh, cool pattern. You hear Stevie Ray Vaughan using that little thing in Lenny. You hear John Mayer using it. Lots of blues players use it. It's a, just a great pattern. So this is stepping us into this major pentatonic pattern 
right here, 12 9. You know, just like your minor pentatonic first position, everyone knows. So you move it back three frets. And so that's how you can piece together. Uh, that whole lick is just piecing together lots of different uh, elements from different, um, you know, major scale, BB King position, and then our first position pentatonic move back three frets. So from just those three little things, you know, you got. Anyway, I'm just improvising here, just showing you, you know, the, where all this stuff comes from. Major, a little position, or BB King position, first position pentatonic, move back through frets. So pretty cool lick, um, even though if you don't want to memorize the thing, seeing how it can all be pieced together. Okay, so that's it for lick one. Okay, lick two sounds like this. Okay, so for lick number two, uh, we're moving even further down the neck uh, with our major pentatonic piece, and that's a, a great Hendrix thing to do as well, this little 12, 14, and then our root. That's our uh, fifth interval, sixth interval, and then up straight to our root, 12, 14, 17. You hear that used in uh, Lenny, Stevie Ray Vaughan. And like I said, the waterfall piece uses these little things like that. And that's where I'm getting those little, you know, hammer on, pull off and slide backward things. So you have this little piece at the beginning, add some vibrato. Uh, that lick is also coming in right after the first beat. One, two. Now I got this, 14, hammer on, pull off, 12, 14, 12, vibrato. Now we'll do, just do this um, hammer on pull off slide thing, you strike it once. So you strike this, and then you slide back to seven. Slowly, 12, that's our first position uh, pentatonic, you know, major pentatonic. Slide back to seven, hammer on the nine. Then we're in our BB King position here. And then you have this cool little pattern, uh, just um, root six open. That's the exact same thing as this 12, 14, seven. So that's all that is, is just moving it up an octave. And there's numerous ways to think about that, but it's up to you how you want to think about it. So I like using that pattern like I said, you hear that Hendrix doing that stuff a lot. And I'm muting that high E string with my third finger, so I don't want everything ringing out. I only want this, and then I'm muting um, the G string and all the strings above it with my palm. So there's no way I'm going to get that high E string to ring out or any other strings above what I'm playing because I got palm and that third finger uh, meeting high E. You just got to really mute all those strings and then you can get more force. Like I like to pull down a bit because it makes those uh, pull off sound stronger. I'm pulling down with this finger and then this third finger is not just like up and down. It's at an angle. Okay, so that is it for lick number two. 